But yeah, Brooke and I were going through something. Mm. Mm. Oh, oh, major. Oh, is it a breakup? What is even does it mean being together if you're so awake? It's like I just laugh her. The question is. Good morning, Bloom Babies. To another vlog today is nothing going on. <laughs> So that's gonna be a really chill vlog. The last one you've seen, we did a lot of things in 3D, which was great. So you saw more of the island and what it's like to do something. And today you see how it's like to, yeah, do not so much in a sense of like 3D adventures. And I love these days so much. Currently I love going to the gym in the morning because now it's April here and April and May are usually the hottest months because it's just really hot and it's really dry. And once it's like noon, it's so hot and you, like I don't want to go out. So I love going to the gym in the morning and currently I feel so good again, uh, physically. So this makes me really happy because weightlifting whoo, is such one of my highest excitement and it makes me so happy right now because yeah, I, I look better than ever, you know, because like, yeah, I've been bigger and I've been leaner, but it's all energy and the vibration I carry now is so beautiful and combining that with like really healthy lifestyle choices. This is just feeling really good because during like my big awakening there were phases like when I got together with Brittany where like I wasn't physically able to train for month and month and month and I lost a lot of muscle mass and um, yeah I just <laughs> you know how we all have to feel good in our bodies and laugh to look good naked so I'm feeling muscular again, I'm feeling strong and this makes me really happy. Emotionally, on the other hand, I'm going through another big fight with Brittany. But yeah, this I keep offline until we have, to, until we have a solution. <laughs> but you know, one thing I really learned is just in the midst of whatever, a fight or whatever, to stay in my center and my happy place and follow my joy, really embody that circumstances don't matter, only my state of being matters. So the circumstance, I go through a fight with Brittany and in the past I was like, oh no, my whole re reality was like, ah! and now I'm just like taking deep breath and don't seeing it like a world ending at all anymore, but just like following my joy and yeah, this shall pass and what is there to learn and how can I like enjoy my life despite whatever the circumstances are because the only thing that actually matters is our state of being and of course I'm there for you and uh, for her so look at this beautiful nature in our backyard so yeah my current excitement today when not much is going on is going to the gym in the morning and then recording a podcast. My German podcasts are going so strong right now. And I have a feeling soon I'm also gonna make English ones. After the year. So yeah, sit back, fasten your vlogging seatbelt. Yesterday I trained upper body, so today I'm gonna train lower body. And you really enjoyed the really enjoyed the voiceover last time so I shall give you uh, another one I just noticed my master Yoda lost his walking stick Yoda he was standing here before but Brittany didn't like it on the altar Master Yoda what does it mean? is the universe saying you don't need a walking stick? I guess that's what it means oh I found it, I guess not. <laughs> Here we go. And also I'm saying there's not much going on today, but no plan, best plan, flow state 24 seven, 
things just happen and I allow everything in. So I operate on total synchronicity. And I often woke up like, oh, not much is planned. And then, whoa, this was a whole day where like, and this is so exciting, not knowing. So yeah, we shall see what comes today. But I really love right now being consistent in bringing at least one English vlog per week. This makes me really happy. This makes me feel really connected to you. I also love the morning light. It's just so nice. Okay, let's make a cacao coffee. And then we shall go to the gym. And if you don't know how I make my cacao coffee, watch this vlog. Still the same. Welcome, my friends, to my lower body voiceover. So as you might know from one of the last vlogs where I showed you upper body training, I train in 100% flow. I don't plan my trainings at all. I literally go to the gym when I'm excited, not knowing what I'm going to train. Sometimes I have a feeling like if my upper body is sore, I probably train lower body. <laughs> But then how this lower body turns out is 100% based on my excitement in the present moment. I don't track weights or reps or anything. I just go with the flow, the synchronicity, follow my joy. And I have these beautiful trainings that feel so good in my body. And whenever I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> so usually to say it in 3D words, my lower body trainings often four main exercises which is squats and front squats squats i do like a mix and then calves here we don't have a calf machine so i just do this up and down and i as you saw pull myself down so i add weight so i also train my upper body a little bit but yeah i have like resistance as you see here and then i make like some really challenging reps which is actually great so yeah if you don't have a calf machine try this so yeah squats front squats calves then some deadlifts romanian deadlifts and abs those are my basically my four lower body um exercises and that's mostly it and then like whatever i often like i kind of always stretch and i stretch in between and when i train my abs it's getting into a stretching flow so it's just so fun, whatever you're excited to listen to. Like, as you know, I make everything a ceremony, having so much fun because we really can find the divine God, however you want to call it, in everything, whatever we do, as long as you be yourself, which is following your joy. This is the vibration of who you are. So yeah, here you see some Romanian deadlifts. I, I did like two sets Romanian deadlifts and two sets of squats, I think. I don't even remember. I just be present and I'm mostly also in spirit and just feeling my body because it doesn't matter so much to hold what exactly I trained in like reps and stuff and exercises. So yeah, finishing off with some abs and as I just said, you will see, I just do like whatever feels good for abs. Like I always here switch it up and then it ends up in stretching. And yeah, I invite you to have a flow training. Like I so invite you to have a flow training that just feels good and then see, yeah, how, how you like it. And I just love this gym so much. 
And they have a bunch of cats. It's just such a nice vibe. It gets really full during high season, but now it's April on the island. I mean, in the world, <laughs> not just on the island. So yeah, it's getting uh, not so busy anymore. And then just walking a couple meters and in, in, in the spa where you have a sauna, like multiple saunas and ice baths. And as you can see, here they're building like two jacuzzis and a big steaming sauna, I think. They already have a steaming sauna, but they built like a bigger one. So I just love that place. The owner is really awake and this is a really high vibe place to train. So I don't know what else to tell you. You see this line? This is where the ice blocks get delivered. It's really cool to watch. And I just love how much nature here plants there and there you see one of the big mother trees of the island so nice to come out of the sauna the ice bath lay there on the fire stare at this mother tree and deeply be connected to spirit the divine god myself all that is and yeah here i just like to show you some of the island it's just all so flowy though you know it's such a flow lifestyle that i'm able to live here it's not so disconnected as it is in many cities where you go into a car you drive 20 minutes you're in a spa then you try drive again and then you're in the gym and then you go like here it's like all flowy doughy so connected and i just love it okay enjoy the rest of the vlog back home that was a really good lower body training and now the first thing i love to eat is fruit we got some juicy watermelon, some dates, and some mango. Mmm. I bought so many bananas yesterday for future ice cream. It's funny, in my 20s, when I was deeply excited about bodybuilding, it was for me sometimes challenging to not overeat. And now that I'm so embodied, and also that it's so hot here right now, I really have to, don't force myself, but I really have to make sure uh, I, I eat because otherwise la, 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 I would just eat watermelon and the day goes by which is a really great sign which means like I really am embodied following my joy finding the divine and everything that like gives me this fullness which you find in everything whatever it is that excites you the most moment to moment and then it's only food when you're actually hungry so yeah this makes me really happy and I remember in the past I was like dieting and like suffering, like the dieting, like losing weight was um, in association with suffering. And now, no, you can just feel good, be embodied, do what you love and you just naturally be really lean because you only eat when you're actually hungry because there's nothing to fill because you're full of the divine which you find in everything, whatever excites you the most, moment to moment. Follow your highest excitement. Let's go. Let's see what our baby is up to. <gasps> so deep in spirit? <laughs> Moshi. <laughs> what? I'm sorry. Like, she never made this before. <laughs> Are you trying to talk? I think she was really deep in spirit this time. You woke me up. I'm putting all your shirts full of cat hair. I'm sorry, people. I'm sorry. Hmm. So much future. Yeah, Vince can wake up. This song, oh, those emotions, like, oof. But yeah, Brooke and I were going through something. Oh, oh, major. Oh, is it a breakup? What is even, does it mean being together if you're so awake? It's like, I just love her. The question is, is it harmonious? If not right now, everything is temporary and everything is changing. Then maybe it's better to separate more with love, going different ways and then coming back together once it's more harmonious. 
Relationships are tough school. Relationships are like the biggest challenge ever. Especially twin flame dynamics. If you don't know twin flame dynamics, check out this video. It's, it's really good. It explains it really well. Um, if you never had a twin, twin flame relationship, you ain't no shit. Trust me. Before Britney, I, I wouldn't have understood it at all because it's all experientially, that's the only thing that's real, is the experience. It's yeah, the greatest, the greatest and worst thing at the same time. <laughs> so yeah, creation was probably a little bored and was like, let's take a soul and split it in two and see how that works out in a human form. They're like both the same, but the polar opposites and I'm gonna make my popcorn ready and I wanna watch that. And I'm down here in this body, I'm like, oh, <laughs> is the show nice? Yeah, do you enjoy it? Because uh, I'm bleeding <laughs> emotionally <laughs> and it's like, I don't know. <laughs> exactly. So yeah, that's why I feel this song a lot. Oopsie. Recently we also love to make popcorn. Our pop popcorn machine is such a game changer. Alright, now I feel energized. It's like always after the gym I'm like wow and then I eat carbs, fruits, dates, whatever. Mostly fruits or like nice cream then like whoa 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 whoa. I get energy and now I feel that but also I trained really well and I'm currently really excited to rebuild muscle so the physical mind is like, where is the protein, bro? Uh, bro, pro, <laughs> pro, 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 pro lifestyle. Who remembers that? All my German bloom babies. Ah, Misha and Patrick back then, they just embodied following your choice so well with that. Anyways, so this is something I like to eat uh, a lot recently. It is just um, bland milk, or you can also do it with water, uh, vegan protein powder. I found this one on Lazada because this one is actually organic and has some studies that it actually contains what it says because I tried this one now for a while but this is like the main brand I feel like in Asia or on Lazada which is like the Asian Amazon but I don't know it makes me bloated I feel like also I don't digest it so well and I don't know, you know those cheap proteins, you never know what you get. Uh, like, let me tell you, there's some weird things where it doesn't even contain much what it says it does. So I'd rather pay more, have some studies that prove it most likely contains what it says. So we take one scoop of that, so we can get in a really anabolic state. Because how muscle building works, really simple. When you work out, you tear the muscle fibers apart and then they grow bigger, stronger, together, bigger and stronger. And for that they need building blocks, which are amino acids, which is found, in, which is protein. So, where do you get your protein? Bitch, plants. And protein powder is just something I recommend everyone who is weightlifting or doing any exercises regularly. It's just a nice way to make sure you get enough protein. So yeah, this cornflakes, I got cornflakes, I love cornflakes. Like, I'm now in Thailand again for, I think eight months, so a long time. And now I hit this point where Thai food is a little boring for me. Like rice with vegetables and tofu, yay, masamam curry, yeah, and not so much anymore. Now I'm like craving European food, so I'm making popcorn a lot and I love going to the bigger grocery shops in Tong Sala, the little city of Kupangan, and get staples like cornflakes. Cornflakes just, just remind me of home, my childhood. It's just like really yummy and crowning for me. And it's just like clean carbs. So I mix it all together and uh, frozen berries. Wake me up, wake me up inside, can't wake up, wake me up 
And this little yummy meal will definitely activate my protein synthesis. Cornflakes for life. Raise the cornflakes. <laughs> Wake me up, wake me up and I can't wake up. Wake, save me, boo boo da. Like listen to the song in the gym and see what it does to you. You're like, like music is one of the strongest drugs. Like once you're like really awake and don't need drugs anymore and cannot do any psychedelics anymore or anything, you like discover how many sober drugs we already have. Like. Bye bye Afro, I'm going to the gym again, <laughs> yep, this is my excitement, so today it wasn't actually a podcast, I was just editing and releasing the latest, I actually have another one, I do so many German podcasts right now, so I highly recommend to catch up if you speak German, because they're so good, so good, how good, so good, how good, so good. Yeah, I really want to move my body and I don't want to be in the house. We have a treadmill desk, but in the gym upstairs, they have AC, so it's really cool. And I just want to like move my body. Like when you go through a lot in a relationship, often all these emotions, you know, energy in motion, that's what emotions are. So don't let them get stuck and feel weird, like move them through your body. And a great way is, yeah, physical exercise. So I'm just going to go on the treadmill, do some things on my phone and probably go in the spa again because ice bath and sauna is like this vibration is like so good so yeah midday it's so hot so protect your skin ah. wake me up wake me up and you can't wake up wake me up save me up. and i love my scooter so much and i feel like an adult because i bought it oh look at afro mm. <laughs> afro He's such a weirdo. He's like, Dad's cool, Daddy. It's cool. Daddy, yeah, it's nice and cool. <laughs> She's so funny. Wake me up. What's really healthy for me is being out and about if I have like a lot of emotions, like these breakup emotions. So I went to the gym again, it was amazing. I listened to, I got a face reading where I sent her three pictures of my face and she gave me a channeling and it was so accurate and I listened to it again. On the treadmill for an hour, went into the sauna and the ice bath twice and then sat at the fire and it's just, so much peace of mind and i was like hey don't go home go to one of your favorite restaurants and order something nice and then go get a massage like go be outside the house see how many amazing souls exist and just yeah uh live like this like really be your best friend and then talk to you like you know, I have like my higher self talking to me and also me as my best friend, as my bro. Like, hey bro, I know what's good for you, do this. Like, you know? So, here I am. This is a really nice vegan restaurant. It's called Vegan Heaven. Or Pure Vegan, I think. It's a little more expensive because there's like all the fancy stuff. 
but once in a while and since I'm back on the island for eight months now I haven't been here once so it's time I ordered the nourishing burrito for here and the summer rolls with tempeh for takeaway two of my favorite foods here to order wow look at this the ocean and so much green nature it's so beautiful and I love these little huts where you have Look at this, so yummy looking and so yummy because I ate it before and let me tell you it's really yummy. back home <coughs> Abraham back home and this is what the takeaway Ta -da! summer rolls with tempeh looks like well they get so sticky and we have a peanut sauce and a sweet something sauce so yeah without the sauce a little boring but with the sauce it's muy bien muchas bienos and a friend asked if we want to play frisbee for sunset and i said yes my inner child was like let's go and we have some really nice beaches for frisbee when i eat really yummy food and i'm really hungry i always start to like dance like move my body because i'm just like mm -hmm, it feels so good like whatever you're gonna tell me this just can't be comfortable. I saw you. I saw you resting in this position for a while and you can turn whatever you want, but I don't believe you that this was actually comfortable. <laughs> Exposed, baby. This just can't be comfortable. I saw you. Just like, how beautiful is that? So beautiful. Right, Dougie? And there's a cool sand bank. And I'm gonna go there now and we play some frisbee, which is basically a UFO. Wow. This is so beautiful. I love going out every sunset and just being in this vibration. The beingness is so good, um, especially at the beach when you can see it and go in the ocean. So beautiful. Just how beautiful is this island I call home? Kopanjan. Kopanjan. Wow, I recommend watching at least one sunset per day. At least one. Oh, oh, I guess this one was for me. And now it's dinner, some nice cremos um, complex and goji berries what you can eat nice cream for dinner really uh yeah and as much as you want it's really healthy and the freezer is super loud uh, the whole fridge because it's like working so hard to freeze all these nanas and also it's a really hot day it's a couple days later I just did a German podcast. Wow, next level channeling state. Like I really wanna do 
like my physical mind really wants to do it in English, but my higher self is like, you're meant to awaken the Germans. Other people already do it on this vibration in English. So my physical mind like really is like, oh my God, I do this amazing German podcast. It's like the rarest Pokemon cards and I want everyone to understand them. But higher self is like, really? <laughs> chill. <laughs> it's not about like numbers. It's not about how many get you, it's about who gets you. And right now, you get me here in English and my Insta stories in English and you get my vibration. This is enough. And the rest you find somewhere else. And the timeline is just getting started. Right, Yoda? That's correct. I wanna give you an update about me and Brittany. It's actually great again. Like we really had deep emotional releases yesterday and we worked things through like the only way out is through and her and i we like really we cannot run away from each other because there's only us like we love each other so much and and they're like the things our growth stepping stones is in each other and we are these growth chunkies we want to grow and other people don't have those reflections anyone i see and we just love each other so much so these fights and everything i feel like they're so important to grow on another level and yeah like also feeling so many emotions so deeply going to the bottom and being like oh my god it's like also like this is what makes us human it's also at the end beautiful i mean it's so much easier to say now that we're connected again oh my god it feels like a come down of an mdma trip now that we're connected again because when we're disconnected it's like really like it's like, it's like this is also like that. it's like anyways you can feel it i'm caffeinated and before i start an english podcast I end this vlog. I just wanted to let you know, don't worry about us, we're great and this is just real, raw and authentic. Here are my raw emotions in this vlog. Pick it! And just sharing that the journey is never like, I figured it all out. The journey has never begun, will never end. Either you share your journey or you don't and I recommend shine your light, shine it bright and share it in whatever way excites you. Uh. I really don't like my new haircut. I look like a basic German boy. But yeah, it's a great permission slip to love myself and that my light is shining from the inside. This is what makes me so beautiful. Oh, Meister Yoda. If you wonder where the stick went, it just shifted in another dimension. Okay, I really like overshare because I'm caffeinated. I'm just like, I wanna talk to you forever. Like, don't go. But yeah, I'm just like, let's make an English podcast. Because many of you who are like not mighty of the German language, and I know most of you are watching here are also German, like most of the people I reach are German, Austria, Switzerland. But what I'm saying is for those of you who don't, like, I don't even know if you like actually know the vibration I carry. And I wanna like show you on a podcast so you can like feel it because it's all vibrations and I want you to like get a taste of mine. So let's make a podcast soon here on this channel. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Peace. Eat your chickpeas. Ah!